Schrader, who's going back to the old form, at least on this day, when he moves, he's in trouble. Sam Grady, he's fast when he holds the ball. When he fumbles it, Eric Fares, Mike Dumars picks it up for the touchdown, an 18-yard return, and the Oilers. Willis and Greg Lloyd butthead. Fourth down, Brian Wagner's punt is blocked in the end zone. Ernie Mills falls on it. Touchdown, Steelers 26. Okay, TJ, you tell them what happened. Well, the up back here, Eugene Lockhart is standing on Wagner's kicking side, a little too close to him. He takes two steps back, and that results in a Steeler touchdown. Right into Mills. The penalty gave the skins a touchdown. One play led by Richard 17-10. Brian Mitchell. Reminds some like our Joe Theismann and Mike Nelms in the special teams role. He used to play for the Redskins. Mitchell with a touchdown on the 66 yard punt return, 24 10 today. So, some heavy hearts for the Patriots, and they're down 7 0. But John Vaughn makes his coach happy here. Takes the kickoff. I won't say it because you know what's going to happen. It's a 99 yard KOR TD. Touchdown. Stops again, but with seconds to go, they punt it. Wrong move! Chris Burkett blocks the punt by Reggie Roby, picks it up himself, it's a touchdown! 11 yards to... On the ensuing kickoff, one-time Pro Bowler by Sikahema. Sit by that man, Paul Butcher, again. He's USDA grade because he causes a fumble in Anthony Newman. Picks it up and runs it in for a touchdown. 20-7 to Ram. Uh, Seattle would find other ways to score. Chris Warren returning a Ron Stark punt. Warren gets some blocks, and he is going to go all the way. 59 yards for the score, but there was a question on this play. But as we see, Chris Warren's toe stays in bounds. His heel never touches the line. Half kickoff. And although their offense couldn't do much, in 14 seconds, their special teams are going to score 10 points. Charles Wilson, he could go all the way. All of a sudden, it's a 14 to 10 ball game. Thanks to the special team. It's in and sacks, Elway. Still in the first series, the punt is blocked. Bo Orlando blocks it. Bubba McDowell recovers, seven nothing. Tom, what happened? Bad snap by Wydell here, and then Haran takes the extra step when he really didn't have the time to get the ball up, to get the block for a touchdown. Dan to his left to get the touchdown. Jimmy McCire on the sideline watching. Prime time. Prime time. Prime time. High stepping at the midfield strike. Deion Sanders returns the kick for a touchdown, 100 yards, 27 to 20. But the Cowboys do score 7 to 3 against Wayne Fonz. Ken Willis field goal. Mark Spindler playing a big role for this young lion. Blocks it. William White could go all the way. 55 yard a touchdown. Lions special teams give him a 10 7 lead. It's true. Jesse Hester breaks the streak. The Colts' first touchdown in 58 possessions. Opening kickoff of the second half. Clarence Verdan, Chris, he could go all the way. He might. <laughs> he does. 88 yards for the score. The first time a Colt has done that since 84 to 14 all time. New kicker for the Oilers. He would play a role, but early on, the putter in trouble. Greg Montgomery's putt is blocked by Isaac Colt. Robert Williams blocked the putt last week. This time he picks up the block, goes in for a touchdown. And the Dallas special team's doing the job, eh, although it's been a little bit illegally. Yeah, you watch number 51, Eric Fares there. He's tackled by Derek Brownlow, and that's what enables the block kick. Hey, if it matters worst nightmare, ask John Kidd. Wayne Martin, right up the middle, he has no chance. It's blocked. And look at defensive lineman Frank Warren. Pick it up. Rumble, bumble, stumble. Oh, Nelly, it's a touchdown. It's 14 to 7, New Orleans. Morton Anderson usually kicks him through the end zone. Heaven forbid he doesn't do it. Nate Lewis catches it at the five. Had to break a team's back when they think they got you down. You get a couple of the Morton. No way. Nate Lewis is gone. It's a touchdown. And the Chargers are right back in it. We're tied. Best win, baby, no matter what the weather. Tim Brown, you know what he does? He wakes up the echoes on this punt return. No one's going to catch him. Seven, five, yeah. The silver or black. Way ahead, 21 to nothing. Having a big year on special teams. But Elvis did not leave the building after that play. 
bad snap. Aaron Wallace, Belfley Johnson, toast with a touchdown. It's January because there were giant fans all over the place. Early on, the punt to Dave Megan and look at that low medic run. Only one man can beat him. It's Marty Carter. Megan looking healthy. Punt returned 70 yards. The G-Men lead it 7 nothing. He was right. Charles Wilson to return the kick. But he's nailed by Elmer Jelly and Seth Fairbell. Country Joe and the Fishback returns it for a touchdown. We're tied at 28 all special teams for the Falcons. And Jerry Glanville drills his football team on stripping the football. When you're returning, you have to know that. Protect the football with both hands. It doesn't happen. Result is a touchdown for the Falcons right here. So now the Packers have played so well to have the lead, but now we're tied. A field goal puts the Bengals ahead 20 to 17, and then after they stop the Giants, the punt to Mitchell Price. Bob, we kick, run, move. Sean Landetta, forget it. Let's get him go. He does go all the way. Mitchell Price is right for 78 yards and a touchdown. 27 to 17, the Bengals over the champs by 10. Tied at seven. These are two defensive minded teams. But why would the scoring go up? We'll watch the ensuing kickoff. Dexter Carter at the two. Cuts back to the middle of the field. Finds the crease. Makes the move. And it's let's get a go. He just fight. Go all the way. He tight ropes the sidelines for a touchdown. 14 to 7 San Francisco. 10 nothing silver and black. But on the ensuing kickoff. Al Edwards. Let's get a go. Bruce DeHaven special teams. There's Steve Tasker with a tremendous block. It's 91 yards. Bills have been totally outplayed, but the special teams get them in, and it's 10 to 7 Raiders. They've hung in, they've hung in, and they lead it 14-10. And then watch a Pro Bowl play by a Pro Bowl player on a punt. Mel Gray. He's gone. He's all the way to the end zone. No clip right there by Melvin Jenkins. And the Lions lead it 21 to 10 outside with their 0-4. And, and in the first minute of the fourth quarter, Kelvin Martin, remember that 1 in 15 Cowboy squad of Jimmy Johnson two years ago, finds the scene. And black at him go. He could go all the way. Especially thanks right there to a block by Isaac Holt. The 85 yard punt return has given the Cowboys the lead 15 to 10. Yeah, what you can see here by Isaac Holt is him directing traffic. And so, Alexander Wright, once timed it under 4 2 in the 40 yard dash, returns the kick. He's going to run it out of his own end zone. What is he, nuts? No, he's not nuts. He's fast, and he's gone. He could go all the way. 102 yards for the touchdown. Longest return this year in the NFL.